We're all from Adam, and Adam is from the dust. He's from the soil. You will only be successful when you respect those around you, when you realize I'm just one. Even though you might be wealthier than a lot of the others, what's the big deal? What's the big deal? When it's your last breath, it's your last breath. You cannot tell Malakul Maut, hey, I've got 300 grand in my bank account. Can you say that? Big deal. Subhanallah, Malakul Maut is not interested in anything. If anything, people will fight over the money that you've left behind and maybe your own children might be at war with each other for decades to come as a result of, I'd rather not have had that. See the point? So don't allow arrogance to creep in your heart in the midst of a good deed. People say, I'm fasting, I go for taraweeh, I go for a good, to a good masjid, I do this, I do that. These guys are useless, they don't do any of that. Hang on. You see what shaitan made you do? He made you feel and think that no, what I'm doing is so valuable. These other guys, their value is zero. Automatically, you got pride. Pride was the main disease of Iblis, Kibr. He had pride. What was Kibr? That pride was the feeling that I am better. The Quran mentions it. What did Iblis say? Straight. I'm sure you understood that, most of you, right? He says, I am better than, than him. Why should I offer respect to Adam when I'm better than him? We do that sometimes when we feel we are pious. And then we belittle others. MashaAllah, if Allah gave you the opportunity to fulfill five salah in the masjid, to dress appropriately, to read Quran, to understand the Quran, to attend the lessons, to be able to fast in a proper way, to be able to worship Him in a beautiful way, that should humble you. You must thank Allah for that. Thank Allah, but don't display it to the others to say, what do you guys do? Nothing. Look at what I do. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Maybe we might not say it with our tongues, but if you feel it within you, you don't understand. Every football match is judged by the score when the whistle is blown, not before that. You can be as excited as you want for Liverpool to be winning 5 naught. You can be excited as you want if, subhanallah, if the win is not written for them, the other team, by the time the whistle is blown, may win 6-5. Is it not possible? I see the Manchester supporters all said, yes. <laughs> Allah grant us ease. <laughs>